said a hip hop, the hip it, the hip it to the hip hip hop, and you don't stop the rockin' to the bang bang boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be. Now what you hear is not a test. I'm rapping to the beat, and me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. You see, I am Wonder Mike, and I like to say hello I'm to the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, the purple, and yellow. But first, I got a uh, not ones that have the uh, leads. My, my leads got fucked up. It doesn't have leads for it. Yeah. Uh, I have something that says it'll read it, but it just doesn't. Push that, push read, pull, pull. that only reads so much when it's off. Mm -hmm. on? No, no, no. Okay. I've never had luck with it. So you can check it whenever you. Maybe you can try to start it at the same time and touch the wire. Is it supposed to? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've never used it in a 12 volt setting. I've only used it for houses and checked outlets. My voltmeter I messed up by letting my son play with it and it got torn up. I don't think I have any other way either. Yeah. Water up here, there's like dry shit. Looks like somebody was fresh. Oh, wait. Was that your burnout mark right there? Is that your burnout mark right there? It looks like somebody was out here burning out. Just yesterday or so. Today, maybe. Uh. Now I'm not as tall as the rest of the gang, but I rap to the beat just the same. I got a little face and a pair of eyes. All I'm here to do, ladies, is hypnotize. I sing it on and on and on and on and on. The beat don't stop until the break of dawn. I sing it on and on and on and on and on like a hot but the pop, the pop, the pop, give it, give it, pop, the pop, pop. You don't dare stop or come alive, y'all. Give me what you got. I guess by now you can take a hunch and find that I am the baby of the bunch, but that's okay. I still keep in stride, cause all I'm here to do is kiss a wiggle your behind. Sing it on and on and on and on. The beat don't stop until the break of dawn. Sing it on and on and on and on and on. Rock, rock, yo. I throw it on the floor. I'm gonna freak you here. I'm gonna freak you there. I'm gonna move you out of this atmosphere. Cause I'm one of a kind and I'll shock your mind. I put the jig, 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 yo, behind. I say the one, two, three, four. Find what's comfortable. Yeah. That's the best way to put it out. All right. Like, front seat standing was the easiest because you could just let it go all the way back and just step off the back. Yeah. Seat standing? Yeah. Like both feet on it? Yeah. Standing up here. Because yeah, the trick is like a lot of people try to like squat down with it or like lean into the bike. Like when you go to seat standing, try to stand up. Yeah. It that feels like. Too, so it'll pull you the perfect amount away from the bike. Just clutch it out. How much pressure you're running? Uh, the back tire, I don't know. I just know it's almost flat. Okay, perfect. That, that's good. Now you, it'll just keep you going straight. Yeah. You stand straight up there on the seat and clutch that thing up. Gotcha. It just, that feels really uncomfortable. That's, like, I yeah. jumped up there once, just look, like the first, that was the first opposite tr style I tried. You know, I've only been doing staggered all week, you know. Yeah. So I jumped up on the seat stand and I was like, I popped it up and I was like, whoa, you know, I felt top heavy. Yeah, just stay, you gotta see, cause uh, like I said, you try to lean into the front of the bike, you gotta like step away. Like when you're staying in seat center, it's like this. Yeah. Just, even when you're doing sit downs, it's like this. You just gotta step away from it. The only time you get close to the bike is when you're trying to get stuff Cornering. Go, go tight. Gotcha. Yeah. Wide tight. Wide gotcha. tight. All right. So just stay back. It's funny, it's just like figure skating. Yeah. When they want to go tight, they pull everything in. Yeah. When they go Speed them up. Yeah. Pull the arms out. Yeah. Rack it back and. If you don't rack it back, you're going to just keep picking up speed. Yeah, I know. Just, I, I, every time I hit speed, I'm just like, fuck. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you like, I used to just, uh, especially when I was learning at a place like this, I just make wherever I am small and give myself only a certain distance to clutch it up and get it there. Yeah. You know, I'll get it there before then, put it down and go. It's really just in my head. I just keep, I keep telling myself like, you can go back further and then it's just like when I get to that point, I'm just like, wait a minute, you know? Yeah. You gotta, don't say wait a minute until you go. But the thing is, you gotta go back and hit that bar. When you hit the bar, you just automatically pull your clutch? Yeah, it's a You have to, though. Yeah. It'll fuck you up if you don't. Yeah. Okay. Hold the clutch in and hold the brake. Like, some people can scrape without pulling the clutch, but they've been riding for a while. Yeah. Like, I know Justin and they all use the clutch. I'm like, how do we use the clutch? That's crazy. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you don't want to bring it back off the bar yet. You just want to get used to hitting the bar to see how far back it goes. So, so right whenever I hear it or feel it, just graze yeah. the brake? Yeah, you feel it hit the bar, just... Did you get power? Yeah. Yeah, I, did. I went through the tail light and switched the... Uh, and it's working? Yeah. Awesome. Switch the oh, you got a quick connect? Yeah. Yeah, actually, my jigs are still pumped. <laughs> <laughs> when you know how to make something, you ended up doing... <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. You keep trying to push yourself into the bike. Like your left leg, if you have your left leg on the peg, it's here. And you, as soon as you clutch it up, instead of like pushing away from the bike when you get up, you're doing this. And you have no control of it when you're doing that. Like it's going to feel weird. Gotcha. Like you got you to gotta step back. Like that's what I tried to, if you could deep double back peg and stand it back here. Like you got to get used to standing, standing back off the bike, like here. Alright. Or like seat standards. Like when you clutch those up, like you're like right here, you're, you're pretty much just standing straight up and just working the brake. Trick. Gotcha. Like you don't want, like you see people doing like stagger wheelies and stagger circles, you don't ever see them with their knees like that. Gotcha. In the tank. It's straight. Alright. It's sitting back off the bike. Alright. You gotta stand up like if you normally stand up. I think I blew a few. Huh. It's just a fuse. Gotcha. 
because it's, it's not like a stop. You got the brake right there. It's always going to bring you down. Yeah. The brake is always going to bring you back. It's going to stop you. It's when you don't hit the brake, it's going to go the other way. Yeah. Yeah, you know, stopping is just. I'm trying to jam it in there. I'm just like, straighten out that leg. You know, I keep telling myself, straighten out your leg. Like, as I'm clutching it up. But it feels like whenever it's too low this way, yeah. I can't straighten my leg, you yeah. know? That's exactly what it is. Like, right, like right there, you just got in the way you need to stand up. Yeah. Back into the bike. And then you hit the brakes. Then you jump back into the bike, then you hit the brakes. It's so cool. Yeah. And then when you start getting, if you, when you start getting a little bit more used to it, coming from further back, that's another thing. Gotcha. You know, you're going over yeah. I don't want that. If you're going forward, try to get that way out of the zone there. But it'll slow down the further you go back. Yeah. And it won't break through. If you want it to, if, it, if it's going bad, you want to go back, even as much brake as you can to slow it down before that brake goes forward. Gotcha. Because so it's going bad, you go back and you get that brake. <laughs> And then I hit my brake way too hard. Yeah. Like, you was about to slow itself down, you just give it too much brake. Like I said, the brake's always going to be breaking down. It's there. There's a 450 copper there. You can see these guys running fucking three. Hey, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mouth trap sucks. <laughs> I'm surprised I, I yeah, held it. It's nothing, though. It'll keep you from doing that now. Yeah, I'm not going to. You're like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I was probably really close right over there to you actually what? touch I was probably touched to close to parking it, wasn't I? You did park it. You just stepped off to the side. Like, that's all you need to do. Like you'll get to where you'll park it. Like all you need to do is keep doing that right there. Bring it that touch the bar. Bring yeah. it that touch the bar. That's what I was trying to do, so I was like, okay, just pull the clutch, hit the brake. Pull the yep. clutch, hit the brake, and then I was just like, ah, it's too heavy. You, you just ease <laughs> on the brake. You'll get to where the balance is, and you'll be able to work and work around it. That, that part of the car, you gotta get, you know where that bar is, then you keep it off the bar. I can grab my Gatorade, I'm thirsty as shit. 